So hi, my name is Arthur. And I'm Anna. Uh, so the client, she found us on Instagram. She contacted us and uh, she already got the van and wanted to, um, for it to become a camper van. Uh, so we discussed that she, she breeds dogs. Uh, so uh, she needed an open layout uh, for the dogs to be able to enter the van easily. So in this layout we have a wide um, entrance, not blocked with the kitchen as we usually do. Uh, then she wanted a beautiful bathroom and all golden faucets and handles and like gold, white and blue, dark blue in the design. So we tried to fulfill her vision about that. Um, she won wanted uh, to take a friend with her and have an extra bed for the friend that pulls, pulls out where Arshu sits. And we came up, uh, up with that solution, especially for her. So this is the first time we do this kind of extra bed. She wanted a uh, white stone countertop. This is also our first experience with the not butcher block, but other type of the countertop. Uh, also this van, um, when you walk into van, you don't bump into a shower cabin. Uh, so it's hidden behind me. Uh, it's not in your way, but it's still there. Also, it's only 24 by 32 inches. And there is a very comfortable toilet with a separate system that rolls out um, of the garage space to the bathroom. Then when you don't need it, you uh, push it back and you have quite uh, enough space to wash. And this is the first one we uh, built in a small, tiny, beautiful sink uh, inside the bathroom. Uh, so this van has two sinks and this is the first van that mm, has yes. a double sink. Usually we do only one and it's a small space and usually uh, people um, use it for different purposes. But this bathroom is uh, more like luxury style. <laughs> yeah. So this camper van is built on a, a 170 wheelbase printer van. This has combined electrical and di diesel both air and water heater so actually when you are off grid you can always switch to diesel and heat both interior space or water mm -hmm. using diesel mm -hmm. if you are staying in an rv park you can connect to rv shore power mm -hmm. and switch to electricity and this is all one device we use victron energy um, electric systems inverters and chargers uh, usually 2000 watts uh, that's more than enough you can select whatever, whichever uh, device you want to use right now, stove, either stove or your water heater. Yeah, it has a special switch not to overload the system. These batteries can also be charged when you are uh, driving from solar or when you are connected to the RV park. Even though this, this van has plenty of energy, still we think you should save energy just in case you want to uh, use your AC for a longer time. Uh, also, this van has 12 volt AC uh, mm -hmm. integrated, which is more uh, efficient than 110 yeah, volt system. It's three times more efficient. It consumes three times yeah. less energy. Yeah, it has echo mode, I guess, which is which uh, draws yeah, only 30 it, amps of energy. Yeah, and 110 domestic um, rooftop ACs that are usually put on RVs, they consume more than 150 uh, amps on the 12 volt side. Yeah, that's a big difference 30 and 150. So the challenge was, for example, we usually do the fabric cushions um, and in the very end when I started to discuss the fabric type with my client, she said, oh, actually, um, dogs, my dogs have dark hair. So we came up with the solution of putting a leather material here, um, similar to the color of the uh, dog hair, so uh, it will be uh, less messy. Um, the challenge was with the toilet because to make out a roll out uh, toilet you need to preserve the uh, to seal uh, that compartment very well so when you shower uh, the moisture won't get inside there. 
Uh, also, she has a bike, a mountain bike with the dog trailer. And um, we took the measurements of her equipment and decided to put the bike not like lengthwise but across to save the space for the dog trailer. And also there is a door for the dog to access the garage area. Uh, and also she wanted to um, have this um, area to hang her clothes and uh, put away shoes. Uh, and still we work within the space of the van. <laughs> and that, that's the main challenge, just to use every inch of the space we have wisely, functionally, so that in the end it looks beautiful. That's the main challenge. Thank you.